So we're finally going to discuss why minimum wage brings in employment. Uh, to start it off, we know that in the labor markets, when the wage rate is at equilibrium level, the quantity of labor supplied really equals the quantity of labor demanded. And in this case, there is no shortage or surplus of labor. But when the wage rate is above, above the equilibrium level, the quantity of labor supplied is greater than the quantity of labor demanded, and there is a surplus. Now, this causes the quantity of labor hired at the minimum wage to be less than the quantity that would be hired in an unregulated labor market. And to make this more intuitive, think about all the employers who have to hire, who just started up and they have to hire at the minimum wage. They, in this case, they would more likely hire less people than they would in an unregulated labor market where they could set the wage themselves. That is why there is uh, less uh, there is less people hired than there would be in an unregulated labor market. Now, because the legal wage rate cannot eliminate the surplus, unemployment results. And we know that because of this, uh, the demand of labor the demand of labor determines employment and the surplus of labor, which is the leftovers, is unemployed. So let's just take a look at an example to make this more clear in our, in our heads. So here we have this graph and it seems really similar to what we did before with the price ceilings. And you can see here that uh, that our equilibrium wage rate is six dollars an hour six dollars an hour and we have the quantity millions of hours per year in the bottom the wage rate on the on the vertical so we have six dollars per hour for the equilibrium wage rate the minimum wage rate on the other hand is seven dollars an hour so seven dollars an hour so what we have here essentially is that the equilibrium, equilibrium wage rate is in the illegal region. So then the quantity employed the, or the quantity of labor employed is the quantity demanded. Now to finish this video off, I'm just going to discuss minimum wage, uh, how it brings unemployment. So from our example here, we could see that the quantity of labor supplied uh, the quantity of labor supplied exceeds exceeds the quantity demanded. So we have our supply curve here and the demand curve here. At the at the minimum wage rate, our supply exceeds the exceeds the demand. So the quantity of labor supplied exceeds the quantity demanded, and the unemployment and unemployment is created. So let's just draw a line here. To really see this, hope you can see that line. Let's make that bigger. Okay. So, so this line here, in between the supply and the demand curve that I'm tracing, ending with two arrowheads, that is the unemployment. So that is the unemployed. So that is the unemployed. And with only 20 million hours being demanded, some workers are willing to supply the last hour demanded at only $5. And this is similar to the price ceilings. Oh man, I'm always beach balling. Yeah, uh, but anyways, this is similar to what we had before in the, when we were talking about housing. Remember that some people were actually willing to pay uh, pay in the legal region by 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 paying their uh, by paying the people who are selling their housing more the renters more than um, more than is legal by the price ceiling. So in this case, people are willing to uh, work for less, work for less than the wage rate, just to make th that extra five dollar. They're e they're willing to work. Uh, work below the minimum wage in the illegal region. And that's all I want to talk about today concerning minimum wage. Uh, next video, we'll really talk about the inefficiency of a minimum wage. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll